Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Meditating Human. I am Tiffany, and today I wanted us to talk about the downside of finding your purpose. And you know, I didn't even realize there was a downside to finding your purpose until I was having a conversation with my daughter and she was just, you know, really out of sorts. And she's like, you know, I know what I want to do, but I can't do it full time, you know, just yet. Cause she's just like really starting off. She wants to do the YouTube thing, which is fantastic. And she's, and she's really just starting off because she's starting off. She still needs to have a nine to five. I mean, it's, she works from home, but still she needs, still needs to have a nine to five. Got to pay the bills. And so she was just in despair because, you know, she's like, I don't want to do this. I, like, I don't want to do this nine to five thing. She's like, I get why I'm doing it, but I don't want to do it because I, you know, one, I don't want to work for other people. And two, I find myself getting caught up in it sometimes. And just stuff is just not making me happy. And she's like, you know, I feel stuck. And she hadn't done her YouTube thing, I think in a few weeks, like other, just other things just kind of got in the way. And so she really felt the pressure of not following her purpose. And I'm like, you know, I was like, you're feeling the way that you're feeling because what you're doing is not what you're supposed to be doing. Yes, this is what you need to do for right now. This is what you need to do for right now in order to get the bills paid and that makes sense. I was like, the problem is, is that if you are only doing the nine to five, like, you know, something, something happens, like life just gets in the way and you were just strictly doing the nine to five for like a hot second, it's not going to feel right to you because it's not what you're supposed to be doing. That's not the only thing you're supposed to be doing, right? And it was just an important lesson. And I sat and I just, we had this long conversation, but it was an important lesson for both her and me because I'm like, you know, I never thought about that. You know, a lot of us, are unhappy in our life, unhappy without jobs, you know, have dead end jobs. I mean, more often than not, we have dead end jobs because we don't know what our purpose is. We don't know what we want to do. And, or we're unhappy without jobs because one is not what we're supposed to be doing. And two, we may know our life's purpose, but we are, un for whatever reason, we are unable to follow our life's purpose, which is why I say it's so important when you find out what it is you really want to do, even if you can't do it full time, it's important for you to carve time out of your day or your week to be able to follow your life's purpose. And yeah, I, you know, you can't follow it. You may not be able to do it for the next eight hours. You may not be able to do it even for the next four hours, you know, half a day, half a work day. But it may be something where, okay, for the, I can dedicate the next one to two hours to this. And I can, you know, consistently do that every day. And if that's what you can do, then that's what you do. And that may not be the ideal situation because especially when you have a nine to five, when you have other responsibilities like kids, you may be going to school and you may just have other things. You may have more than one job it's difficult to co then come home and now say, okay, now let me get started on my purpose because it, and it's not to say you don't want to do it. it. You just may be exhausted, you know? And so it's being able to power through that and understand that every step you take towards fulfilling your life's purpose and doing that full time, every step you take towards that, the universe is going to take three, four, five steps towards you. When you are fulfilling your life's purpose, you don't know who's looking at you. You don't know who's paying attention to you because it's those same people that may end up helping you because they're like, hey, I like what you're saying. I like your message. How can we get that out to the masses? How can we take that to the next level? You know, and all of a sudden you have this opportunity of growth just fall into your lap 
just by dedicating that little bit of time towards your purpose. And then next thing you know, you're doing that full time because now you can afford to do it full time. Now you may have the funding to do it full time. Now, whatever's happened, it's, it's come to fruition enough where you can live off of that, that income from that, from following your life's purpose. Following your life's purpose doesn't mean that you have to be poor, you know, that you have to be constantly struggling, uh, depending on what your life, no matter what your life's purpose is, excuse me, no matter what your life's purpose, it doesn't mean that because part of your life's purpose also is to live in abundance, right? And your abundance is going to come the way it needs to come through you doing what it is that you want to do through you being a blessing to others, through you serving others, through you helping others in their lives. Because when we follow our life's purpose, we don't know the type of effect that it's going to have, that ripple effect, you know, that goes out into the universe, that energy that goes out to the universe and that, and it will come back to you. It will absolutely come back to you because it's like the universe is like, okay, you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. We can help you do that. We can help you now. And you will get all types of help, even if it's just, oh my gosh, I feel so much more energized to get up and yeah, go to the nine to five and then come back, but still come back and do this. Or while I'm at the nine to five planning what I'm doing for my life's purpose, plan, whatever your life's purpose, planning that out while you're at the nine to five, why not? Don't get wrapped up in the nine to five for the next eight hours, nine hours. Don't do that. Absolutely dedicate time while you're physically there or mentally there. If you're working from home and you, or you, um, are in person, but dedicating a part of your day during the day to, and during the nine to five, dedicating part of that to your purpose even if it's you know what I'm going to plan some stuff out you know if you're doing YouTube for instance you know I'm going to plan out my I'm going to plan out my my episode I'm going to plan out what it is I want to talk about even if it's just that but you, at least you are bringing your thought back to your purpose. You're bringing your energy back to your purpose, even if it's, okay, I'm going to listen. You know, I mean, you may not want to do YouTubes or anything, but you want to listen, you listen to these podcasts to help you do something else, whatever else your life's purpose is. Oh, you want to open up a shop. You want to do this. You want to have your own business, whatever it is. Oh, I can listen to YouTube or, or I can listen to podcasts while I work. I have, um, I subscribe to Skillshare, um, which is just, uh, people who are experts in their fields and they're just having these, these classes, which are fantastic. And, um, it's, it's absolute, it's, it's real. I think I paid like $75 or something for the year. You know, I started doing that just to get a better understanding of social media, get a better understanding of video editing, things of that sort, just to get a better understanding of it. Cause Lord knows I am no one social media guru, you know what I mean? But starting from there and, and it's like, that's something you can either look at or listen to while you are doing your nine to five. And again, it also depends on what you're doing, what you're doing for your nine to five. And so if you're physically at the job and maybe you're in construction, maybe you're a cook, maybe you're in a restaurant or whatever, something where you can't, you know, maybe look at a video and work at the same time. Maybe you can listen to a podcast and work at the same time. I don't know. Or if you can't do that, then it's well during your break, use that time to focus on what your purpose is because the more you don't do your purpose, assuming you know what your purpose is, or you don't take the time to find out what your purpose is. And I'm telling you, it's going to be worth it. It may be a pain in the ass because it's like, well, where do I start? you know, start at the things that you like, start at your hobbies. What makes you happy? If you, if, the, if the, think about the one thing that if that's the only thing that you can do for the rest of your life, what is that one thing? What pops into your head? Whatever pops into your head, either your life's purpose or part of your life's purpose. Tiffany, I just want to sit. I just want to 
I just want to veg and play video games all day. All right. How can that, how can that be turned into helping others? Because ultimately you need to be of, of service to others. How can that turn into being of service to other because then that's the next question because for you maybe like but I want to I want to lounge and play video games all day I'm like okay so we have a starting point so how can how can we now tweak this so that it's of service to others and it may be that you know you start you you get on you get on Twitch and you start doing going playing the video game while you know and and run it through with people and that may just be your starting point. Allow room for that, for that to blossom and grow into what it needs to grow into for you to come to the point where that you are, and, and not to say that you're showing people how to do a walkthrough in a video game is not being of service to others because you're, you're, you're providing a service to someone that, that, and I used to play video games, love the walkthrough because I'm like, oh, okay, this is perfect. You know what I mean? So yeah, so, so you are being of service to others, but when you find your purpose, when you find what that is and being of service to others comes in every shape and form. It's not one, it's not one thing. Oh, being of service to others, you have to be spiritual. No, being of service to others. I show them how to play video games. Awesome. And then allowing that to blossom and grow into something else. The more you move away from your purpose, the more miserable you're going to become. The more, the less in tuned with your self, with your higher self, with the universe you're going to become and you're going to find th that your attitude changes, your energy changes, things around you change because you're not, you're not moving towards, you're moving away from your higher purpose. Make it a point to put energy into your purpose every day, even if it's you still need to figure out what it is. Make it a point to put your energy towards that because then your nine to five then immediately becomes temporary because now it is, and then your nine to five then has its purpose because this is my resource, it's going to this and my goal is to get rid of this, to focus on this and that's it. Make your higher purpose your priority and watch your life change. Until next time, dear hearts, love and light. Bye.